I know that a lot was or is talking talking about prioritization and to do list all over the industry and wherever you're talking productivity is is the most important one of the most important things that you can offer in your job and I want to contribute my four cents and counting down since everything is a work in progress so now I'm and it all connects to a bigger issue of not product prioritization but your own time prioritization since I'm working on different products in different stages in different um, in different uh, yeah, stages there is always a need for my time and because because of that I always need to prioritize my own my own task list while the agile movement and Jira is a, is a demonstrator of it calls for one task at a time this doesn't include product managers and I found myself or I and and you know what there's another angle to it I don't know if it's all product managers or only me but I don't like to tell other people Or to tell my users and to tell my stakeholders and or, and especially tell hippos that it's in the backlog this is in most cases especially when you're extremely busy and the and the business is growing by the minute this is always feels to me like it's a dismissal of that has no merits and it's not like that but it's in the backlog and probably would be either pushed to be in the higher priority or pushed back by other things that become higher priority having that said this does it this this is the product uh, roadmap it's fully communicated it's good to have a uh, Uh, you have your uh, you have the stakeholders that are my manager my our CTO and product um, chief product they're all on board on the product roadmap but what about your day-to-day prioritization so first of all I want to talk about the tool that I'm using which is extremely simple and because of that it's extremely strong and It's called workflowy I think many knows it and it's a simple bullet list that you can use on mobile on your Mac on your on web everywhere you are and it's basically doing that you can put bullet points you can nest men as many bullet points as you want under the the same uh, major bullet point you can collapse and and, and uh, you can collapse sub bullet points really really simple and really strong and what I found that that's all good and well and of course you need to be able to look or you need to remember to look at it whenever you can and when whenever you're finishing something you You need to look at it and to see what else is prioritized and and again with any to-do list you need to always nurture it and and uh, and groom it all of that is go good go, go without saying two two hacks that I found are to take all tasks that are for now that needs to be delivered in the shortest time shortest time possible to take all of them and to put them into a now section and the rest that's it and in the now section just there divided into small effort and large effort 
large effort or boulders. I've, I've read about the boulders and pebbles system. It's, it's basically the same. Just look at, look at the mission at hand. Only then look at the mission at hand and understand what is needed to, to make an impact, to move the needle. And once you understand what, what it takes to move the needle on this, or the, the business needle around this task or around this issue, then you can determine if it's a big or small effort. And then you can prioritize what you want to achieve today, what big, uh, what, you, what major efforts you want to achieve today. And and then the rest will you you can put in between. And I don't have it, it's working for me for now. As with all all products or anything that you do, it works until it breaks, which is fine. Uh, if it breaks soon, if it breaks really early in the implementation stage, then it was broken to begin with. If it breaks further, farther, farther into the future, maybe it's a, it's a unique case, but it's a work in progress. What I wanted to say, or my lesson for now, is that first I need to learn that saying it's in the backlog, it's a good thing to say to anyone and it's it's a fair it's a fair answer that's one and two to say okay i understand this this small task shouldn't be in a backlog it should it's a small task it's a small effort you should just do it but there are here are my priorities before i'll do that and after i'll finish with those you, you, you can be sure I'm going to address the issue that you wanted. And these are my two lessons. So to sum up real quickly, because it's on the fly, I'm doing it. First of all, the backlog should be a good answer for big projects or features or even, even uh, improvements to a feature, one. And two, for tasks that are mainly yours to do, then it's okay to say, I'll address, I'll address it once I'm done with one, two, three. I estimate it will be around Tuesday. That's it.